Hi guys, Ms. Rover here and welcome back to the channel. So today is Friday, which normally means we've got our Forever Modded series, um, but I'm stuck in a little bit of a rut with that one. Still trying to decide whether I'm going to reset the seed, which I, I, I am leaning towards. But at the moment, while I'm not 100% sure and I kind of want to take the time to make sure the seed that I select this time I explore a little bit, and not just jump in fresh with you guys like I did last time, just to make sure that it is exactly what I want it to be. Because I was really upset when I was playing with um, Jimmer One last week, where I couldn't find any of the things that I needed to find. Um, and then I found like I was being pushed into playing the series in creative mode, which is not not what I wanted to do. Like I have it enabled just in case something happens, but I kind of I like the survival aspect of things and being able to explore things the way I should. But I was exploring in creative with Jimmer One for about 20 minutes and I had to cut that out of the episode. But it was just all fungi forest and mesa. There was nothing else, um, which made it really hard because there wasn't really any cows or pigs or sheep. And I could start my own farm, but I needed to find some of those things so that I could build my own farm up, which is the plan for me. I kind of want to start in like a plains biome, build my own farm and start from there. And that's okay, but I just didn't want to have to use creative to do that. That kind of sucked. Um, but because a lot of you have been requesting how to get this mod pack, I thought I would talk you through it. Uh, so a lot of people will come to this page, they just Google Mystic Mesa and then the first place that it brings you to is this page here, which is just about the mod pack and all those sort of things. And everyone's like, but how, how do you get it? It's, it was not very clear when I wanted to get it because you just go download now, right? And you think, yeah, beauty, that's done. But it's not, <laughs> it's actually not. It's very frustrating. Because um, it took me a good week to figure this out, which is stupid, really. They should make it more clear. Um, and then someone told me, oh yeah, you need to get the curse client. I was like, okay, how do I get the curse client? So then I think I went up here and then I got it that way. Um, but it was an old curse client and then that wasn't working either. So I think that's all been updated now. But anyway, I thought I'd talk you through how to do it. So what you need to go to do, you need to go to Google and just search curse client. And this is the website here. I'll leave the link below in case you want it, which is mods.curse.com forward slash client. And basically you want to download the app, um, either for PC or Mac. Now I think I got the Legacy Curse Client originally. Don't get that. That's not going to give you what you want. Um, so I've obviously got a PC, so I downloaded that for PC. Um, and then... I might want to get my downloads ready. Downloads, okay. And then you go Curse Client Setup. .exe. So you want to just do that. Now I've already got it. So I don't know what's going to save me. I don't want to uninstall it, just in case it tries to get me to do that. Let's see. I keep thinking about it. Yeah, another version of this was already installed. Installation of the surgeon cannot continue, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Anyway, you run that and just follow the installation process like you would with any other installation. Um, basically, just keep clicking through. And then once it is done, you want to launch Curse, which looks a little bit like this. It'll ask you to log in with your Minecraft details. Uh, don't be scared to do that. I know I was a little bit apprehensive, um, but I found with a lot of these things, you need to do it that way, otherwise you can't run the mods. So um, yeah, so log on, and then you want to go to Minecraft. If Minecraft is not already there for you, then you want to go to look looking for add-ons and then find Minecraft that way. I know for me, because I selected it that way, it started up that way, already had Minecraft there. So then you go to that, and then you want to go browse all mod packs. As you can see, I've already got it, but then you just go into search, and you go Mystic Mesa. There it is. So then you click on that, you go to install. I've already got it, so I've got the play button, but you install it from there. Then once it is done, you'd be able to pop back here, and it will sit here, and then you can just press play from there. Literally, it'll just launch you in, and you can just start a world up yourself as if you were another, like a normal way. Um, so just press play, so we'll do that. And then it'll be the profile of Mystic Mesa, just leave it. And it'll have um, your username there as long as that's there. 
you're good to apply it as yourself. So then you just press apply from there and it will just jump in the way it is. And it will start up with the Mystic Mesa thingy majiggy. So let's just show that off. It does take a while to load up. Now a lot of people have been having problems with the mod pack if you don't have a, a great computer. Um, so I won't have any response for you or any way to fix that. If it's just not working, if it's clunky, if it's crashing out, it's going to be a computer. Um, I do have an Alienware computer so it can pretty much run anything that I want it to, but it still takes some time to load up. So as you'll see here, it's got Mojang, Loading, Constructing Mods, and then it just runs through all of the mods. Like I said, the first time around, it will take forever, like a good 20 minutes I'd say, uh, of you trying to load it. I think now it's down to like 3 or 4 minutes for me. But the first time it did take forever. I'm like, oh my god, it's not going to work, it's broken. Um, no. It should be all good. Now, this uh, mod pack doesn't actually come with shaders. Um, so if that is something that you want, you will have to organise shaders separately. I can't even remember which shaders I've got. I'll see if I can find that for you. Uh, yeah, so here we go. We've got Mystic Mesa. As you can see, single player, and then I've got my Forever Modded World there. So you just play the selected world, or you create a new one, whatever you want to do. I'm just jumping in to be able to enjoy the Mystic Mesa mod pack like I do. No, no, I just jumped out. But anyway, <laughs> building terrain. This is the part that took forever when I first went in. So, let's give it a second. There we go. So we are exactly where we left off. Now I have put shaders in, like I said. Uh, and we are back in the world. But this is my forever modded world or the, with the Mystic Mason mod pack. So, let's just quit out of that. Now, let's see, if you want to add a shaders pack through documents, and you want Curse, Minecraft, Instances, and then it'll save for the mod pack, so it says Mystic Mesa, so you go into that, uh, and then Shader Packs, this is where I've got mine. So I've got the Silver's Vibrant Shaders version 1.141 Medium. Uh, so, let's see. So from Minecraft 6, yeah, this is exactly where I got one from. And then you scroll down to the bottom, download link. So I got medium this one, so recommended for recording on older PCs. So it just depends, if you do have an older PC and if it's working alright but you still want to have it, maybe try that. Or if you've got a bit of a weaker system, you can go with light as well. But there's next to that, not a lot of shaders going on with the light one. But that is where you get that from, so I'll leave the link for that below. Uh, so if you do have any questions for me, make sure you leave a comment below. If I can answer the question, I'll do my best to answer it. Like I said, if it's just crashing out on you, things like that, you will have to go to the Mystic Mesa page, which is minecraft.curseforge.com forward slash projects forward slash Mystic Mesa, and then you can go to issues. Should be able to report your own issues. I think you may have to be logged in to do that. Um, but yeah, so you just be able to go through that. Oh, I'm going to have to tell you about that. Uh, so now, biomes are plenty, which is part of the mod pack. If you want to have those specific biomes from biomes are plenty, you have to set it up a specific way when you start the world. So I'm just going to jump in and I'm going to show you how to do that. Create a new world. New world style shop. More world options. The world type. You want it to be biomes of plenty. Uh, so it's really that easy. Now if you want to be able to teleport to your different waypoints on the map, you need to allow cheats to be on because you have to be able to go into creative mode and things like that to be able to teleport. Um, something you'll have to do like just when you go to the map it'll give you the option to teleport if you've got allow cheats on if you don't then you can't uh, so yeah it's that easy to do that 
So, uh, like I said, if you've got any questions, leave a comment below. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Please leave me some feedback about what you think, what you are thinking about me resetting the seat. Because like I said, it, it really was upsetting for me. And I don't like to do that for you guys because I've just changed it. And I'm like, oh beauty, we've just changed it, we're going to start fresh. And I couldn't do anything that I wanted to do. So I was actually really, really upset. But it was, we really struggled to finish recording that video. Because I was just saying in Gemma 1 that it's just not, it's not enjoyable for me when I, when I have to cheat or when I have to just go without the standard things. Like food would be so much harder to get and things like that. So yeah, there's only those certain types of trees. Everything was just water and mesa and bloody fungi forest. <laughs> All right, so um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week for another Forever Modded. Hopefully it's probably gonna be a new seed and I'll be much happier then. Fingers and toes crossed. Thanks guys, bye.